Well, pardon the fan in the background. It's kind of hot in here, so it's on if you hear it. I wasn't planning on making any videos today. I really wasn't. do plan on going live for the Knicks Pacers game. But I just happened to be on YouTube this morning and stumbled across uh, a video by Sports and Fitness Rants. Shout out to his channel. Um, and this video is saying that uh, Spencer Dinwiddie has a bigger global reach or is known globally or is the GOAT because he is known globally more than Jordan. And, you know, when in you know, TV shows or movies, the music is going on. And now the next thing you know, somebody says something stupid or something happens and the music goes. Bzzz! That's basically what happened in my head. So I had to go research this. And read this in my own words. And I found this article on FadeAwayWorld.net. This actually article was marked on April 30th. So almost two weeks ago now. And Spencer Denway says this. He has claimed LeBron James is the GOAT because he's a larger icon than one Michael Jordan. Spencer Dinwiddie trying to get a new contract. That's what that sounds like. But anyways, Spencer Dinwiddie has thrown his support behind LeBron James' camp when it comes to the GOAT of basketball, calling his Lakers teammate a bagel, bigger global icon than Michael Jordan. LeBron, so he says, LeBron, because I judged it on who I drafted, Number one in all-time draft. He has 20-plus years of basically going to the conference finals. I say globally, LeBron is bigger icon like business included. Oh, Bo. Bo, 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 Bo. Then when he added, Jordan is considered a bigger hero than LeBron. I think Jordan is a bigger hero in a sense just because he was so different from what we have seen. We already seen dominant guards and wing once LeBron came in. Um, this is where Spencer Dinwiddie is wrong. Uh, 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 do I need to explain it? Where he's wrong at. If you look at the jerseys. And some of the. Uh, uh, alternative jerseys. Alternate jerseys I should say. If you look at some of the alternative jerseys. On the NBA of certain teams. Actually I think every team. All 30 teams. It's not a Nike sign as you see there. It's not a LeBron sign. As you see on those jerseys. It's a Jordan sign. North Carolina, Jordan sides. I think Georgetown, Jordan sides. These are the two I can think of the top of my head right now. I think there are some other universities out there that have Jordan sides. Jordan has football cleats, golf cleats, sports apparel everywhere. You see the Jordan emblem almost everywhere. If you think about it, you don't see no LeBron emblem anywhere. No, you don't. No, you don't. You can go to the deepest parts of the world. He mentioned Michael Jordan. People know who that is. LeBron? No. I feel like I already made this video already. I feel like I have. But I'm going to make it again anyway. I don't care. Um, reading this, continue to keep reading this article. In this article, it says, business-wise, Jordan is the richest pro basketball player in NBA history. Though LeBron is second and became a billionaire before Jordan. Money is different these days. But with Jordan brand making billions every year, adding considerable chunks of money to Michael's personal fortune, it's hard to say LeBron has outperformed him in the business space without a brand as enduring as Jordan. Like I just said, Jordan got sports product locked down everywhere. Oh, I mean, Every place, almost 
I can't say almost in every sport, at least basketball, football, and golf. I didn't even think boxing at one point in time. There are legitimate arguments to support LeBron's case for GOAT, which I don't think he's even worth close. Whether you agree with him or not, these arguments are generally correct as Jordan's global impact on the game. As an icon, his own question, his business exploits are most are still the most successful by any NBA player in history. I don't care what this article goes on and say every year LeBron James makes his uh, argument and GOAT conversation stronger. He's doing things we have never seen him or someone his age or with the same miles on his body achieve. We all know where that's coming from. We all know how he's doing that, but we ain't going to say it out here. James just wrapped up his year 21 season, should retire, and will likely still be an all-NBA selection with such an impact. Um... And that's pretty much it. It goes on with the whole GOAT conversation. But come on now, Spencer Dinwiddie. Come on now. We can't we can't tell these lies like this. We can't cap for LeBron no more like this. It's getting out, it's getting crazy. It's getting outrageous. And I say this, and I'm gonna say it one more time. No, I ain't gonna say it one more time. I know I'm gonna say it again in the future. LeBron will never pass Jordan. There's three goats. There's three goats considered in the NBA. That would be Kareem, Wilt, and Jordan. That's it. There's no LeBron. That's it. I know some people I like to put Kobe in that conversation, but eh, Kobe, in a way, is Jordan, skills wise. And who's to say that? LeBron has passed Jordan when it comes to global outreach. No, I think Kobe is even higher than that. But then again, I can't really say that. Now, you know, I can well say it because I see more people. I was just hooping at the gym yesterday. I was just hooping at the gym yesterday. And if you look at everyone's feet, and this goes back even 10, 15 years. But if you look at everyone's feet, look at the shoes they're wearing. They're wearing Kobe's. Preferably the Sixes Grinches. I had a pair of sixes, Kobe Sixes on. Uh, the person I, uh, one of the friends I walked in there with, played basketball with, he had a pair of eights on. Another guy had a pair of sixes on. More uh, people got sixes, uh, Kobe Six red Grinches on, green Grinches on. I think some of that is due to Kobe's passing. But like I said, even before that, if you look at a gym, probably going back to 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, you see more Kobe shoes, even more Jordan shoes, but Kobe shoes than LeBron. LeBron shoes are not really that appealing. They didn't get really that appealing to uh, until, what was it, LeBron 20s, the ones that came out last year that looked like Kobe's. And I ain't going to sit here and say I don't have, never own a pair of LeBrons. I got Two pairs sitting in the closet right now, but I've had more Kobe's and Jordans than LeBron's. But anyways, we ain't gonna get into that. Kobe's outreach, global outreach, was more than LeBron's. I think LeBron is despised these days, and it's gonna get worse for him. The more he keeps playing, the more he keeps opening his mouth on this uh, mind the game cap podcast that he got out. It's gonna get worse for him. It is. It's funny that LeBron tried to make Space Jam 2 and that considerably failed because his acting, not to say Jordan's acting was better, but the man tried to make Space Jam 2 and it failed. We ain't going to sit here and blame it on, oh, it was COVID during it. No, no. That had no impact on anything. He tried and he failed. Space Jam, the original Space Jam, is an icon. But anyways, um, no, no. 
Spencer Dinwiddie came out there with the wrong argument. That was a terrible argument to say. To try to put uh, LeBron in the GOAT stats because he's global. Because he's a global icon more than Jordan. Hell no. Hell no. In the 92 Olympics, it was crazy. Jordan stuff everywhere. And it's going to be like that. It's so funny that 20 years after you retire, we're still talking about Jordan. What does that tell you? And then again, after 20 years after LeBron retires, they probably... Maybe not. Not in a good way. But, um... Before I forget, if I didn't say this before, but shout out to Sports and Fitness Rants. He was the first one that actually made this video, made me aware of it. I just want to give a shout out to him as well. His channel is booming. But anyways, LeBron, bigger cultural icon than Jordan. <laughs> these kids these days, man.